أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله that Allah Zawajal guided us to the hands of Awliyaullah to perfect guidance and light upon our soul. Those whom Allah Zawajal guides they are truly blessed. Allah just says in the Qur'an, if you have a taqwa and keep the company of the sadiqeen and truthful, righteous, pious people. And that is a tremendous gift that Allah grants is the gift of guidance. And anyone who is not under guidance is under the guidance of shaitan. Means that only a fool represents himself in a court of law. It's known in dunya, if you're going to go into court you have to have a wakil, an attorney to represent you. Guidance is that reality in which there are attorneys in the Divine Court of Allah from senior level attorneys all the way down to low level attorneys but they have been granted by Allah from Prophet ijazah, a permission for guidance and has a tremendous blessing, tremendous benefit. Those who don't understand and don't have guidance, their guide is shaitan. So today's subject is that most people take their knowledge from the imam in the toilet. And how we know that is that Prophet warned us the shaitan, his house is the bathroom. That as soon as you enter the bathroom you have to be aware that every thought that coming to you is from shaitan. As soon as they step into the bathroom that is the house of shaitan and he has a mihrab and mimbar set up in that bathroom. That is his home, that is his school of teaching, that is his madhab. And they ask all world leaders, where do you get your inspiration from? It's in the toilet. When they sit on that golden throne, their imam is up giving them a khutbah. So, oh my worshippers, let me give you all these futuhats and knowledges. They say, where did Einstein get his, his theories? Where did your, your inspiration come? Sit in the bathroom. When I couldn't figure things out, I would go to the bathroom and things would come to me. So as soon as you enter in because only Allah guide and those who don't have only Allah they thought they were becoming clever in the toilet. Wow, they go in there's all the Qur'an, all the secrets of Qur'an come to them, all the secrets of hadith. They have all sorts of thoughts, all sorts of understandings and teachings coming from the bathroom and that's the danger. Means that trace where your knowledge is coming from, trace where your thoughts are coming, trace where your inspirations are coming because only Allah come into our life and say, as soon as you step into the bathroom seek refuge in Allah Dilajah. That you're about to enter into shaitan's territory, make sure you have taweez, make sure you have your head covered and prepare yourself for battle. And that anything being taught to you, a'uzu billah, I don't want anything from it, think of the worst oppressor on earth and say, this is what I'm going to think about in here. I'm going to do my business on his head. Prepare yourself. 
If not, you go in there with the silent mind, all sorts of whisper, all sorts of teachings are coming to you. And that's the danger. That's the danger when people don't have guidance, they don't understand where the inspiration is coming. The waswas is not only an evil thought that's too easy. You say, oh, Audhu Billah, this is waswas. No, no, is waswas whispering you good thoughts? Say, yeah, oh, this is, yeah, you know, this, this ayat Qur'an is like this. And uh, yeah, this is what this hadith means. And these are like the realities of Islam. And as soon as you leave the bathroom, the imam he looked on to the heart of that person, to the brain of that person and throughout the day begins to discuss with him and begin to whisper within his heart that, I'm teaching you, see this, see this, see this. And yeah, you know that uh, that teacher of yours is wrong, he whispers in a very nice voice, I don't think he knows what he's talking about. You're the clever one, you got it all figured out and that's the danger. Rising Sun of the West is an essential spiritual guidebook filled with invaluable knowledge of the elements within our cosmos. The author guides the student through a comprehensive program of spiritual development and journeys to the Divine's most powerful son of all universes, Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him. These symbols of guidance lead us on the path to enlightenment and by applying the disciplines of the star, the willing seeker can unlock hidden realities of the soul. It is ultimately through their guiding light that the student transcends life on earth and moves closer to realizing true cosmic awareness. Available worldwide at Amazon.com The concept of guidance is that you have to have a living shape. As soon as you have a physical guide means all the coordinates from the guide has to be conveyed to you. It is our duty is best to fulfill those coordinates from your dunya to your akhirah and the ones in dunya which you deem to be the least significant, maybe the most significant in establishing the taqlid and ihtiba. Ihtiba is Atiullah, Atiya Rasul wa ulub amri minkum. How is the servant to obey Allah Obey Prophet if they have a complete incapacity to obey the ulub amr. You can't skip the ulul am and say, no I obey only Prophet No, that this is a delusion because the ulul am are much easier to obey than to obey Prophet These are our darajats in, of, of faith and maqam al-iman wal maqam al-ihsan. Islam is to obey the ulul am, maqam al-iman is Prophet You have to love me more than you love yourself. At that time your ihtiba, your obedience is completely to Prophet Above that maqam al-ihsan, their obedience to Allah Many awliyaullah their heart open and they read what Allah wants them to do minute by minute. It's written on the preserved tablet for them. All of that its door is to follow and to listen. Because this is the battle between the heart and the mind. The mahir is continuously hearing the whisperings and I listen to them and the clever thoughts 
and clever understandings and continuous doubt and those are all the opposite of faith. But the battle with the head is to lock off the head. That's why the entry for all the qurubs is La ilaha illallah, La no ilaha illallah that no deity but Allah So La ilaha illallah the zikr of La ilaha illallah, Ya Rabbi I'm not going to use my head in your direction. And all I want is the light of your faith within my heart. And the only interest shaitan has is to overtake your head, control your head because the heart very difficult to control. With the people of, of, of Islam the lights are entering into the heart. It's like trying to hack the CPU, there's a firewall, there's protection, there's every type of energy trying to guard the heart. It's so much easier just go for the screen because anybody can hijack the screen. You can even put a, a, a now a, a USB into the screen and, and send all sorts of illusions and delusions into the mind. Any jinn can pirate your head. Come and touch and begin to give you every dream, every thought from royal to disgusting. The head is not something difficult, it's not something guarded. The heart of the believer, Qalb al Mu'min Baytullah. Which means our way is based on the battle between the heart and the head. So the shaykh comes to cut your connection to your head. The shaykh, why do I have to think in front of you? Don't think. This is in reference always to Islam and Sharia. The image that you portray, they know that illusion, they know how fake it is, they know that what you're trying to show, they're not looking at that. They know the reality behind the actions that you're preventing or presenting in front of them. They say, oh he could so act so nice in front of people but inside he has tremendous hatred and anger. The energy you're keeping from your heart and from your soul is what they read. They know the reality of your soul of what it wants to achieve and then have hostage by the ego. And why do you have to use your head when your whole life your head has gotten you into trouble? And every thought that comes to you and you act upon that thought through your head, there's so many ways that it came from shaitan, did the thought come to you from the bathroom? Because only only Allah teach you that, most people don't understand. And I say, what? Well, all my thoughts, they're from shaitan. Say, yeah, trace back where you got that understanding, it was probably from a khutbah of shaitan in the bathroom. Well, he planted a thought to you, you came out, you acted upon it for the whole day, whole week, whole month, whole year. Because they come, they know the battleground and whatever you heard in there, it's completely from shaitan. And the only time you want to take inspiration is after you've been washed, you came out, you prayed two rakah salatul wudu and sit on your sajjad. And at that time make tafakkur and contemplate and connect your heart with that, Ya Allah, Ya Rasul, ulul am dreaming from Ya Rabbi let my heart be connected with your ulul am. And at that time see how difficult it is for that inspiration to come. Because shaitan is fiercely blocking at that time. Are you ever searching for what zikr to recite for a particular situation or which prayer to make for an event or need? 
The search is over. We bring to you through the Mohammedan Way app, an all-encompassing Islamic guide. A platform where you can find all the surahs from Holy Quran, special du'as and prayers, as well as live zikrs and comprehensive Islamic teachings from world-renowned scholars. Download this powerful app now and keep up to date with in-app notifications. Available for download on iOS and Android. So they come and they perfect our faith and our understanding that everything coming to your head is a, is a battle in which to negate it. Every time a thought comes into your head, negate it, negate it, la illallah, la illallah. And the, that if I have a guide and I have a shaykh, I should be asking the shaykh and then acting upon it completely. Then you know it brings guided. If every time you ask and the information you got and you cannot complete it, you're under the attack of shaitan. Shaitan is not allowing you to fulfill what your shaykh has asked. Shaykh says, get a job. He's just by example, get a job. How do I get a job? Apply everywhere. Something so simple in life, just you apply everywhere because shaitan his purpose is to put every obstacle in your life. If you're trying to reach towards the heavenly realities, the first thing Allah wounds of ihtiba is the head of yours is blocking every reality because shaitan uses the head and says, it's impossible I can't. See there are no job openings, there are no work available, that I'm not qualified, that my resume has problems, all of these are the whispers of shaitan and in the presence of Prophet there is no no. When Prophet gives an order, you fulfill the order, however it's going to be done, Allah does support. Look at the lives of awliya, they do things that people can't imagine, now how the support came. Because Allah will just support, it's not for them to think, it's merely for them the Samina wa Atana, I heard it and I'm going to fulfill it and Allah Zawajal is my support. So even if you go get a job at the ice cream shop, a shoe repair, put a box out on the street and give peanuts. Make sure that it's fulfilled, the shaitan didn't take you and and grab you and block you from everything, the duty is to fulfill it. Then it has its darajat, as soon as you fulfill it, it's all, oh, Shaykh I got a job at the ice cream shop, alhamdulillah, no problem, now apply again, let's see if something better happens. Because you were able to defeat shaitan, you were able to defeat every obstacle that shaitan puts in front of you. All of those are been programmed by Allah He can remove all of them if you step. Ya Rabbi with your support nothing can block me, nothing can stop me and I keep going and I keep going and I keep going. And this is the importance of Iman. This is the importance of a guide, that's why he said, if you don't have a guide then imagine how difficult that life should be. That you didn't even know that the khutbah was coming out of the toilet and that all the whispers are coming to your head, you're thinking, oh these are good inspirations. No, inspiration comes to your heart, not to your head. If the shaykh is real, means by heart and by inspiration, they're giving an inspiration from above. 
that inspiration that comes to you of guidance for you, you act upon it and you move upon it and you defeat the shaitan that's blocking you and blocking your mind. So that shaitan can't grab your mind and can't hold, and hold tight to the mind of that servant. Because as much as you negate your head, negate your head, you negate your head, shaitan begins to understand whatever I tell this person he's not going to listen, he's going to listen to his shaykh. So as I come and whisper to him he knows, <laughs> spits and says, what I've been told I'm to do and my heart is solid in doing it. So they come into our lives and they begin to teach, they take guidance. That when you listen to them try to fulfill what you're hearing. You agree with it, you don't agree with it, better to fulfill it to achieve your darajat of faith. Lucky are the ones whom they begin to open their heart. Means that they fulfill every arm. They say, even vacuum, you vacuum. You don't say, I don't need to vacuum, I achieved a high level. They say, no, no, you vacuum to tame your wildness. And as you're vacuuming, you're being granted lights within your heart. Becomes now samina, samina wa fana. I heard and I obeyed, I heard and I obeyed. Then Allah releases the lock from the ears and begins now the focus upon the heart, the eye of the heart. Because there's nobody who can have the eye of the heart and listens to absolutely no one, no one. Because the ear is so locked, listens to no one and has anger. It's impossible, it's impossible shaitan is playing with that one. Only time you listen to a voice in your mind and in your heart is when the voice is commanding you towards worshipness. To go play 50 rakahs, yeah okay I pray 50 rakahs, you're not going to pray 50 rakahs. Go read one juz of Qur'an, go read one juz of Dalai Khirat, you don't do any of that. So it means the voice coming to you is all your imagination. That's why then the living guy is the shaykh, what should I do? And he tells you step by step, do these things. Oh. No, I don't want to do those things, thank you very much. Then we begin to understand how shaitan is playing with us. So means when you don't understand the circuit that coming to you is causing all these difficulties, that's why Allah provides a living guy. Go ask them, they're right in front of you. Email them, text them, they're all over the world all over social media, all over every device possible. Confirm verbally your coordinates, act upon those coordinates, build the maqam of faith. As you're building your faith, you're building your connection with them and you're blocking the connection of shaitan to that person. Hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa wa basir Surah al-Fatiha درد و جهان فاطم جان دل به تو بستیم مهم بان تو هستیم دل به تو بستیم مهم بان تو هستیم نظر کن به انایت به فردای میاد نظر کن به انایت من ای رو علی جان نبی ام عبی ها توی حضرت زهر
هستی 